All right, so Google just unveiled a new AI-first vibe coding experience inside of Google AI Studio. And since I've been getting into vibe coding recently, I wanted to try it out with you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty clean interface. You've got the text box here where you describe your idea. You've got the model picker. Today, we're gonna to be using Gemini 2.5 Pro. There's even an I'm feeling lucky button, which is the classic Google I'm feeling lucky button, but for vibe coding, which is super interesting. Uh, you can go ahead and upload images here, text files, PDFs, so pretty standard stuff. But what I found pretty cool is the recommendations they have here to supercharge your apps. So you can use Nano Banana, which is their image generator. You can use the Gemini Live API for conversational apps. You can obviously use Google's VO3, their video generator. So there's a bunch of different things you can use here, a bunch of different Google AI products. And you can also just go ahead and describe your idea and it'll kind of figure out on its own what it should use. But the recommendation that caught my eye is this one, use Google search data. So what this allows you to do is actually connect your app to real-time Google search results. So basically giving your agents up-to-date information on pretty much anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And the idea I had to build something with live Google search data was an AI daily brief. So given that I'm an AI news channel, I always need to stay up-to-date on AI news. And with how fast this space progresses, even I sometimes miss things. So to prevent that, let's build a daily AI brief, basically something that'll give me the top stories every single morning, so I never miss anything. Almost like an AI newsletter. Let's see if it can actually build this. So this is the prompt I came up with. Can you build me a daily AI brief where you lay out the most significant and important up-to-date stories in AI? New models, new breakthroughs, new controversies, etc. Now, this prompt is pretty basic, probably not specific enough, so I'm gonna drop it into GPT-5 and ask it to improve it. So I'm just gonna copy paste the prompt and then type this. Can you improve the prompt for a vibe coding agent? Pretty simple, let's go ahead and paste that. Okay, so it spit out this massive block of text. Now, I'm definitely not gonna read this whole thing. I mean, we're vibe coding at the end of the day, I don't wanna be using my brain that much. But let's just read the beginning here. So you are an autonomous research and writing agent tasked with creating a concise, high signal daily AI brief. Your goal is to find, summarize, and format the most important developments in AI from the past 24 hours, okay? Objectives, search and analyze trusted up-to-date news sources, okay? Identify only major updates, ignore fluff or repetitive coverage, produce a formatted summary that's short, punchy, and clear. Yes, this all sounds good. Here it actually went ahead and created the format on its own. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to include that. I'd rather give probably Gemini more room to uh, kind of do that on its own. Uh, we've got tone and style, constraints, always confirm story recency, avoid speculation, okay, example output. Okay, so this is a lot of stuff, and I guess we're just going to take from it what we need. So this beginning part we're going to take, paste that here. Objectives, we're also going to take those. For the output formats, I'll let Gemini figure that out on its own. I won't touch that. Tone and style and constraints, I will take though. Those did sound pretty good. And I believe that is it. So let's just paste that in. All right, so this looks good. This is basically the improved prompt from what I had earlier. And now we're gonna click build. Okay, so the build is in process. And keep in mind, this is an AI first vibe coding experience. So I don't expect to see any code whatsoever. Now, as some of you already know, I have no experience with coding. The whole point of me doing these vibe coding videos is to see what's possible for someone who has zero experience in coding, which is probably most of us. So yeah, my prompts are pretty brain dead and I kind of have no idea what I'm doing, but let's see how far we can get with this. Okay, so that was actually really fast. That only took about maybe a minute and we've got the daily AI brief here, your autonomous agent for the latest high signal AI developments. Okay, so I guess we'll just generate today's brief. I believe everything is done here. Let's just click that. Oh, here we go. Analyzing latest AI developments. All right, so it do be analyzing. This is taking quite a bit of time. Here is the code. This doesn't really tell me much. Uh, what is this part? Root element. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, this is get. Let's just go back to preview. That's get. Okay, so it's done. That was that was probably maybe two minutes. Let's see what it gives us. So today's developments: Mistral AI secures 1.7 billion euros in funding. Okay, I actually didn't hear about this. Uh, Nebius Inc. 17.4 billion dollar GPU infrastructure deal with Microsoft. 
Sweden introduces world's first AI music license. So these are very like macro lens kind of news stories, if that makes sense. Like Russia prioritizes sovereign AI for cultural preservation. Like I probably wouldn't cover something like that on the channel. I believe these are up to date though. Like there's even the sources here where you can check to confirm. So it took some information from this David AI Pro website. I have no idea what this is. And then here's the Mistral funding round um, from ASML. There's the Nebius. It basically just took this website. Well, at least some of it. Um, let's see where else it took from. Crescendo AI. This is another blog post posted on October 13th though. I'm not even sure what they took from here. But okay, so these are not really the stories I would be most interested in. I'm kind of more interested in like specific models or big announcements, things like that. So maybe let's clarify that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try something different here. So what I did is copy the URL of my YouTube channel. I'm gonna paste that in and I'm gonna tell the agent for the daily AI brief, find stories that I would typically cover on my YouTube channel. Is that something, is that something we can do? Will that work? Let's try that. Let's see if that works. Okay, so it says, of course, I can tailor the agent's research focus to mirror the style and topics of your YouTube channel, AI Copium. By adjusting the core prompt, the AI will now prioritize high signal technical breakthroughs and surprising demos, just like you would for a video. Okay, so let's see if it's not lying to me. Let's see, generate today's brief. Okay, that was much faster. Let's see the stories it picked this time. Microsoft launches Copilot fall release with new MAI models. Okay, this is probably something I'd cover. Anthropic secures massive Google Cloud TPU expansion. Okay, Alibaba unveils Quen3 Max. I, that was not that was not recently though. Um, Google Gemini 25 expands HID capabilities. AI gun detection system fails. So. These don't seem to be super up to date. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the Anthropic expanding their Google TPU chips was actually very recent, happened yesterday. Uh, this is actually a pretty interesting story. I did not know this. So Anthropic is now using Google's chips, their TPUs, which are made for AI. This definitely does have some implications on the AI space. But then the Alibaba Quen3 Max, I don't think Quen3 Max came out recently. I believe it came, yeah, I believe it came out last month. So that's interesting. So it's not amazing. I mean, it does have some good info in here. Um, you still can't really use this to replace my YouTube channel. So don't even think of that. But to make this a little bit more interesting for the video, what if we turn this into images? So if I asked it to generate a custom image for each story every time I generate a daily brief, this will just make it a little bit more visually appealing. So can you generate an AI image for each story? Let's paste that. Let's send off the prompt. Okay, so it is now both researching and illustrating. Oh, we got an error here. Failed to call the Gemini API. User has exceeded quota. Okay. Okay, so I exceeded quota, but it actually finished the generation. So I guess I came out just in time. Uh, here are the stories with the image generations. These ones didn't come through. But let's see, so we've got the same Microsoft story, an image generation here. What is this? Uh, okay, not exactly sure what they're showing here. The next story, Lightrix launches LTX2 open source AI video model. And then we've got this image, not sure why. Um, European researchers release open source 3D robot AI. This actually, this image does actually make more sense for this story. And then there's a couple more stories with some more kind of AI sloppy images, I'd say. And then it also provides, of course, all the sources it used. You can also be specific about which sources you want to use. So like, let's say you only wanted information from Reuters, the information and like CNBC or something, then you can just kind of make a daily AI brief based on those three news sources. This one is tailored based on my channel apparently, but I, I mean, I'm not really getting that here. So yeah, like, I don't know, these are stories I probably wouldn't cover. Uh, maybe this humanoid robots one. AI security system mistakes Doritos bag for gun? What is this? I did not hear about this. So yeah, maybe I would cover some of these stories. Study warns of sycophantic AI chatbots. 
the Anthropic TBU deal, that's something I'd probably cover. And the images it generated are kind of pretty sloppy, pretty generic AI generations. That being said though, the layout is pretty cool, and the speed at which I could make this was pretty fast. I mean, how different is this really from an AI newsletter? An AI newsletter is basically just this, but way more polished. And so what did we learn from this video? Well, you can make your own AI newsletter if you wanted to, tailored with your own information. Especially with this Gemini VibeCoin experience, because it has the Google search grounding, which is super important for up-to-date knowledge. There's also this select device button here that I thought was pretty cool. You can make it a mobile app or a tablet app, whatever you like, and it automatically converts it. There's also, of course, a deploy button here where you can actually deploy the app, save it to GitHub, you can download the app, share it, etc. So this was just a little test. I already reached my limit pretty quickly. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy more. I don't really think this needs more iterating. It's pretty much given me what I want out of it. Now, I'm going to be using this for the next couple of days to see if it like continues being somewhat decent because these stories, while I wouldn't necessarily cover them all, it's good to at least be aware of them. These are probably stories I would have kind of just glanced at and maybe not looked into. But having these quick but also detailed descriptions here are very easy to just kind of go through and read. Like I can just read through this in like a couple of minutes every morning easily. So yeah, I understand this is very basic stuff, but this feels like something that could actually be useful. I mean, you don't have to make a daily AI brief, you can make a daily anything brief. I mean, if you already have your go-to sources for your industry or whatever you're interested in, then you can just go ahead and create a daily brief using those specific sources for whatever. You don't need to know how to code, you just need to know how to speak English or whatever language you speak. And that's kind of the whole point of this video and these videos that I'm going to be making. I'm going to be building very simple, easy, but useful things that anyone could spin up in a couple of minutes or a couple of hours. The thing is though, people don't even realize this is possible. I mean, even someone like myself who follows this space closely, I'm still astonished by the things we can do vibe coding. So if there's anything to take away from this video, it's that vibe coding is getting easier and easier and less code centric, if that makes sense. The code I'm seeing while vibe coding is becoming less and less by design. I've only recently started vibe coding, but I'm already noticing this. So I hope you guys can join me on my journey into learning how to vibe code as someone with no coding experience and seeing how far we can take this. Obviously at the beginning, we're gonna be making little daily AI briefs like these, but eventually hopefully full on apps that actually are useful. So yeah, drop your suggestions down below, drop feedback, let me know how I can improve. And also keep in mind, I have zero coding experience. So don't drop any suggestions that are too complicating because I just won't have any idea how to make them. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.